Hey guys, it's been a sec since I put out a video, hasn't it? Well recently, my Night Saber video hit over 3,000 views. That is incredible for a, a channel with less than 40 subscribers. Now, my job is to get more content out for you guys that you guys will like. And typically, that's lightsaber content. Recently, I just got the Darkness Saber from Saber Theory. And here's a couple of shots of it that I took myself. This saber is equipped with the Xeno 3 core and will cost you about $270. It is an exposed kyber crystal. Alright, you guys ready for this? I probably should turn sound on for that. Alright, you guys ready for this? For real this time? Oh, isn't that cool? You see it go uh, travel up the blade just like a Disney saber. And as a matter of fact, even better. And you can see it go down the blade. Yep, just like just like that. Now one of the cool things about the Saber is the many sound phones it has. This one that I'm using right now is the Protector. That is Obi-Wan's sound phone. It is so cool. Crisp. Blaster defection, deflection. Hit detection. The whole shebang. Even force features. It's so cool. Wanderer. Then we have the Wanderer. Another cool sound font. I have no clue who Saber this is, but it's cool, right? The Knight. All right. Now we get a nice crackly blade. It's kind of loud, isn't it? Alright, but there's so many options, you can customize everything. The assassin. The dark sword. Okay, strobe warning, just, just so you know. That's so cool. I don't know if you guys saw it, but it went through the color change down here and at the crystal too. I should probably show you that. Here we go. It goes from blue to green to Kapakawa, you know? You guys, you guys know what I mean. But that's so cool. The Chosen. Then we have Anakin's. Oh, there's that classic lightsaber ignition sound. With some of the classic noises from the Skywalker Legacy Saber. It's so cool. Yeah, I believe Anakin's has two. It's got the one from the original trilogy and one from the prequel trilogy. For ignition sounds. It's still so cool, am I right? Moonfield. Okay, this one you can turn music on for, and it's really interesting. Let me let me show you. Actually, maybe I don't want to turn on music just for copyright issues. But if you twist it the opposite way of turning on the saber, it'll give it music. That sounds like Mario Kart, in my opinion. All right, watch this. You get a rainbow blade mode. I didn't even ask for that, but I love this. The, the crystal changes colors too. It's so cool. A nice slow deactivation of the saber. Whispers of power. There you go. Look at the kyber crystal again. It's such a nice. It's such a cool feeling to have a saber that does these things. The teacher. 
I believe this is Qui-Gon's sound file. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera, but the lightsaber is pulsing. It's slowly getting brighter and dimmer and brighter and dimmer and constantly switching back. And it is awesome to watch the lightsaber do that. This saber looks good in every color, and I'm so surprised by it. If you see it in the light, it's awesome. Just check it out on their website. The second. We have uh, Trilla's saber again from the Fallen Order game. You have that sound font on the night saber too in my previous video, but it's so cool to have it already pre programmed to do these things. And the learner, I believe, this is Ezra Bridger's first lightsaber. Yeah, that ignition is definitely a nice smooth. Sometimes the blaster effect does that where it slowly does it the whole thing. Other times it's like in certain spots. I guess with the rebel sabers, it likes to do the whole clash and block. I guess so. We have Darth Vader. Oh, this is like the crackle blade of Darth Vader's. If you were a more modern character and brought up in the last 10 years, this is probably what his saber would have sounded like and looked like. Am I right? This would have been so awesome. The champion. I'm assuming this is Revan's or one of Revan's sabers. But it's such a cool saber. As you can see, it's doing a little bit of the crackles. It's just awesome. Serenity. Oh, such a cool saber. This is also from the video games. Just the color and the, the, the way the sound brings it together. Awesome. So this is another sword one. I believe it's a set, uh, katana, but just listen to it as it unsheathes itself. And as you move it, it's a sword. Normally swords don't make that sound when, you know, moving about, but in this case, I guess they had to have some sound for it. There's a nice wind sound in the background. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but there is. The blaster is like fighting sounds, the clash, hitting a sword, the drag effect, the drag effect is dragging your sword along the ground, and a nice slow sheath of the saber. Hatred. Here's another sword one, but this is more like a long sword, a British long sword. As you can see. And here, it's more of a, like a Middle Earth sword. Then you hear arrows firing for the blaster effect. Arrows, the Night Saber had this too. And then the clash, swords hitting another. So cool. It's just awesome. Cyber Terror. Cyber Terror, one of the custom ones. Oh. Codex of Light. Codex of Light, another one that the Night Saber had. I believe. The Count. Okay, Count Dooku. Here we go. Some more classic characters. I believe this is Ahsoka's sabers.
Just to see Saber do that stuff. I believe this is Ezra's second Saber. The Senate. Let me have. I am the Senate. <laughs> it's treason. Another classic Saber is just so awesome to have. Dope saber fun to have. You see the crystals changing to yellow. I mean, I keep pointing out the crystal because it's a really cool feature of this saber. Then you got the crackles along the blade. It's truly lost. The butcher. Butcher. I don't know this one. But I always assume that there's a baker and the. Oh my god, I can't even get the. Never mind. Just look at it. The princess. Okay, before we get started with this one, I tried to mess around with the settings, but then I realized I couldn't change the ignition back. One thing that I don't like about the saber is that that one technical issue. This ignition's gonna look weird, but I promise everything else is fine. This is Princess Leia's saber, but as you can see, that broken ignition is what they call it. I can't turn that off for some reason after I turn it on, which is really weird. Fallen Apprentice Magenta. And then we have Calcast, this is saber. This is Cal's saber in a magenta. The Dark Lord Order. And we just have Darth Vader. The Master. We have, um, I believe it's Yoda's, right? There we go. Again, the pulse is just going in and out, and it's so cool. I mean, you can see it's choosing spots where the blaster's hitting, and it's cool. The third hunter. We have Reva's saber. Nothing special there. The sun. We have Luke. Sith Ray? Yeah, that's Sith Ray. And then we're back to Obi Wan. Here I have a lightsaber that I bought from Disney about two years ago, and a saber that I just bought from Saber Theory. There's the Saber Theory saber, and here's the Disney saber. Notice any difference? Let's try it again. If you couldn't tell, this one turns on and off so much smoother. And if you hold them right next to each other, the Neo, the Xeno Pixel outshines the Disney Saber. Why would you get this one? It's expensive, it's heavy, it's not made for doing, but neither is this one because the blade, but the blade's not good on this one. Buy Saber Theory Sabers instead of Disney Sabers. You got me? Good. As always, I try to keep making videos like this for you guys. If you guys want to see more, please subscribe and like and share the video as much as you can. There are videos popping up on my left and right. Check them out.